Well, part of being stealth is to de-stickify the rim. That's a beautiful Weinman rim decal, and it just is one on either side, so I pulled it off. I have the fat tire now mounted to the narrow rim. It fit fine. And you can see here, if I'm on, let me turn the viewfinder, perhaps I can see what I'm showing. Um, the connectors, it's just three power connectors, and then um, looks like a five or six pin connector for the cycle analyst for the control of the hall sensors, whatever all that stuff is. I don't know what any of that is. Anyway, this tire has 20 PSI in it. Let me get back turning the viewfinder so I can see if I'm staying in camera. I'll get way back. All right. Considerably taller than the stock tire with 20 PSI. Can you see the bounce? Can you see the bounce? This weighs uh, 10 pounds, by the way. The other wheel alone weighs uh, 45 ounces, which is a little over two and a half pounds. Now this is my shock absorber. Now we put it on the bike and we'll take a picture again. All right, you get to see my nice yellow car as a background. I filed a bit of paint from the inside of the fork so I could get the, the, this D-shaped shaft to drop fully to the bottom. Then I installed the spacer or safety washer which fits into that recess of the dropout. And then goes on the, uh, the, the, the nut, the lock nut. And then with this wonderful kind of a socket, it's a 19 millimeter, crank down on a bit. Just for right now, just, just moderately tight. Now we'll do the other side. I have to find the 19 millimeter open end wrench, I think, for that side. Okay. Ah, uh, the misery of misplacing your tools because you haven't used tools for years. So here's the wire side. The safety washer is sitting inside of the dropout flange. Then comes the flat washer. I need to look at Justin's instructions to be sure. I believe that this, uh, this is the wire protector and it's keyed so it will only go on the shaft one of two ways. That protects the wire. I think I'll put it on from this side. I like to say I will double check his online instructions but I believe that's the way it would sandwich. That makes the most sense. And here again I should have a 19 millimeter wrench Notice how this clever thing will protect your bike, save it, save the wires from getting broken. And here again, to make this waterproof, truly waterproof, I'm going to put some very thick grease. And here's my substitute for a 19 millimeter wrench. So we'll tighten this down somewhat, snug it, go for a very short ride after it's snugged, and then we'll fully tighten everything because everything should be made very tight. But not all at once. I'm an advocate of Snug it down tight, run it for a while, and recheck the tightness of any mechanical fastener. Over. 